Good morning everyone, um, welcome back. I thought today we would do a what I eat in a day. It's currently Saturday, what day is that? Mm. Saturday the 13th of November today. Um, we've got quite a chill day. We need to, me and Mark need to get, sort out our wedding invitations and then we're gonna do a bit of like posting. We're gonna like drive around people's houses that are local to us and post them so that's exciting but yeah other than that we are literally just at home so I thought it's the perfect opportunity to film a what I eat in a day. I have also planned um, our meals for today because um, I feel like sometimes I don't really know especially on a weekend like what I'm gonna have. Um, I normally plan my meals during the week but weekends are a little bit more up in the air but I have planned it today to make it like a better video um so like for example dinner tonight is a new recipe that i haven't done before um so yeah i hope you enjoy it so for breakfast i'm just about to i say breakfast it's literally it's quarter past 11 but um had quite a late night last night um but i'm just gonna do some crumpets for breakfast i've already had a coffee um and i'm just about to make my second coffee of the day but yeah we're gonna do some crumpets and i think i'm gonna have marmite on my comments i'm really into marmite at the moment let me know in the comments down below do you love it or hate it i love marmite um but i know like mark hates it um so yeah let me know that'll be interesting but yeah i'm gonna get on with that now um and i guess i'll show you guys And that's breakfast, so Mark's just got butter. I've got Marmite. Let me actually show you, um, it's not actually branded Marmite that I got, it's this Mighty Yeast Extract um, from Aldi. But honestly, it literally tastes exactly the same and a fraction of the price. I always find that with branded things, um, they can often be like, I mean, I don't know if it's expensive, but like between two and three pounds. Um, whereas this is like a pound, so it's literally exactly the same. So try this if you like Marmite um, for a cheaper alternative. Right, lunchtime. It is actually a late lunch. You guys can probably see it's half three. It's actually just gone half three. Um, but yeah, just getting around to making lunch now because we have been out posting some of our wedding invites as I mentioned. Um, so for lunch, I'm gonna make something I haven't done before, like in this way, but I'm gonna make some bagel pizzas. <laughs> so literally, I've got some bagel thin, some cheese and some chorizo slices, let me show you. Um, so yeah, this is all just from Aldi. So we're gonna have a couple bagel thins each, which I'm gonna toast first, I think. Bit of cheese, this is the lighter mature cheddar cheese, I always get this one, and then just some chorizo. So it'll be kind of like a pepperoni pizza, and then I think I'm gonna grill them to obviously melt the cheese. So that's gonna be really yummy. And here are the little pizza bagels. I did burn them slightly around the edge, but that still tastes good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna eat this now. Um, probably gonna have a later dinner because it's literally almost four o'clock now. So I'll check back in with you guys when it's dinner time. It's dinner time. Let me just turn this microwave off. I'm just defrosting some chicken. I say it's dinner time. It is 20 past five. That clock looks weird. It's 20 past five. So it's kind of early, but I think this might take a little while to cook and we're quite hungry. So um, yeah, I'm just defrosting some chicken. Tonight I'm actually making Diet Coke chicken. Um, some of you guys have probably heard of it. It's quite like an old recipe now, but I've never made it. I believe it's a Slimming World recipe. Um, so if any of you do Slimming World, then yeah, but it, I think it's like a sticky kind of Chinese-y type thing. But let me show you the ingredients for it anyway. So we're gonna have that with some rice. Um, it's Saturday as well, so I'm gonna pour myself a glass of wine. But the Diet Coke chicken, I'm pretty sure you just add everything to a pan, so you I'm gonna fry off the chicken and everything and then you need a chicken stock cube. I've just got these chicken stock pots, hopefully they're okay. I've got a green pepper. It also says a red and yellow pepper, which I do actually have in the fridge. So I need to get those out. An onion, we've got some Worcestershire sauce, some dark soy sauce, sugar snap peas, tomato puree, and just some mixed herbs. 
Um, and like I said, we're just gonna have that with rice. So yeah, I've never done it before. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I'm quite excited. I like trying new recipes to see if they'll actually become like a regular dinner for us. Um, so yeah, let's get on with cooking that. to take my makeup off but before I become scary I would show you what I'm ending my day on so I'm just picked up some of these chocolate bars so little oh I've dropped Freddo um it's like mini chocolate flake and then just a little chocolate Freddo as well these are like really low calorie but you still get like a chocolate craving so I'm gonna have these as like a dessert um probably have another glass of wine because why not but yeah otherwise that is the end of today's video so i hope that you enjoyed that um the i didn't tell you actually the diet coke chicken was really really good i really enjoyed that so i'm definitely going to do that one again so yeah i would recommend giving that a go if you haven't tried it yourself as well um but yeah otherwise i hope you enjoyed this video do subscribe if you did for more videos like this and hopefully i will see you all in my next one thanks guys bye